Hi, and welcome to ProTuto channel. Today, I want to show you a new tutorial on how to configure an S7-1500 or 1200 to communicate with any other partner through the UDP standard. UDP is the abbreviation for User Datagram Protocol. It can be used in applications where speed rather than reliability is critical. For instance, it might be prudent to use UDP in applications sending data from a fast acquisition where it's okay to lose some data points. TCP and UDP are part of the TCP IP protocol suite, which includes a number of protocols for carrying out network communication. In this tutorial, we are going to configure a Siemens S7-1500 to communicate with a UDP simulator called Hercules Software through the Protocom UDP. So let's start with creating a new project in TIA portal, and then we will add an S7-1500 CPU. Here, we activate the Ethernet port of the CPU, and we give it an IP address. In our case, we will use the simulator, so, we have to enable this option in the project properties. Next, let's move on and start writing the program. Under the menu communication, we can find the block, named T receive. This block will be used to receive data from a remote partner, through the UDP protocol. After giving it an instance data block, let's make a look on this block and start the configuration. Through this small icon, we can enter to the configuration menu of this block. First, we should select the remote partner here, broadcast to send datagram to all connected devices, multicast, to send datagram to multiple devices at the same time, or unspecified, means send or receive data from a specific device. In our case, we will choose, unspecificate. Next, we should add a new connection data and then choose the protocol UDP. The connection ID, is the identifier of this first connection, we can have other ones, and each one has its own ID. Here, the PLC will be active through connection, means it will be responsible for sending or receiving the datagrams. Then, we can find as default 2000 as local port number, we need to specify it on the other partner next. Through this port, UDP datagrams will be received. After setting up the configuration, we notice then a data block is generated automatically, which contains all the configuration settings. Here, through his input, we will activate, or disactivate receiving data from the other partner. The last thing to do, is to specify where to save received data. So we are going to create a new data block to store data received from the partner, through UDP protocol.
Once it is done, let's upload the program to the PLC, we are going to use PLC SIM Advanced. Now, let's set up the remote partner. To get this simulator, just type its name in Google, download it and then open it. Select the menu UDP, enter the IP address of the PLC, and its configured port. Once it is done, click on listen to start connecting with the PLC. Click on enable, and start writing char data from the remote partner, to the PLC. To check more, let's convert the received data to char format. Finally, we can check now that the two partners are exchanging the same data, every character we send it in the UDP simulator, we find it inside the PLC. We can also check the online configuration of the UDP protocol. This IP address is for the remote partner, in my case, and because I am using the UDP simulator, this IP address is for the network card of my laptop. I wish this video is clear and helpful. Please support us with like and subscribe, and never miss any of the next tutorials.